हेलो एवरी वन दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट बी जे टी एज कॉमन एमिटर एम्पलीफायर दिस विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द एम्पलीफिकेशन एंड द इन्वर्जन राइट आई बिगिन विद ड्रॉइंग द सर्किट राइट सो दिस इज द एरो दिस बिकम्स एमिटर here this is the base right and this is the collector from the way i have drawn you can make out that this is n this is p this is n right so if i have to use the active mode i will forward bias the base emitter junction which means i give it a positive here and negative here right and i ground the emitter right this is common emitter and then at the collector i am connecting the load resistance rl right and i have to reverse bias my base and collector uh, junction right so this collector is n so i am connecting it to the positive terminal to make it reverse bias right if i follow the current directions so this becomes ie right this is inward ib right and then again in going ic correct then if i go by the vbe and your vce which is the uh, potential across the two diodes so this becomes plus minus v b e right and then this becomes plus minus v c e right and i connect the supplies as v b b right and this is say v c c correct what we did today in terms of output characteristics which is important to understand for amplification the output voltage here is nothing but oh the output voltage is nothing but say vce right with respect to uh, sorry ic with respect to vce so ic is your output current in milliamps right vce is in volt and we are looking at output characteristics so we have output voltage and then we have output current right with respect to your input current which we take it as constant each time right so say something like this and this i told you is ib say in 10 microamps right then ib at 20 microamps right say then ib at 30 microamperes so you know that base current is in the order of microamps right whereas when we talk about the collector current right we know the relationship of ic and ib right ic is your in this case your output current right output current and if i talk about input current is what ib right and in dono ka ratio kya hota hai beta right if you remember delta ic over delta ib this we did in the class right so and beta is generally in the order of say 100 or 200 which means agar main ib ko fix kar dun jaise maine yahan 10 20 30 kiya hai aur beta se multiply kar dun to definitely my ic will go in the order of milliampere and that's why when we draw these uh lines back which is is ib 10 microampere pe jo current aayega say for example uh, say 10 milliampere sorry right one second right ye amplified signal hai right aur fir ye aaya suppose 20 so on and so forth right so depending on your beta you can get amplified uh, collector current right so input is your 
base current output is your collector current depending on the amplification if your base current is here in microamps you get your collector current in milliampers right this should be clear and when you talk about gain right kisi bhi amplifier ka gain to wo kya hota hai output signal by input signal right and that is what we are going to see in this video okay so output characteristics you should be clear with and you can also look at it in this way that if i fix ib at one place right so if i say fix this ib right so say if i fix this ib and then um, at the same ib um, i see the ic right and uske baad main ib thoda sa change karti hu say 10 micro ampere to 20 micro ampere difference that you see in terms of your current at the same vce this is same vce right some value of vce say vc1 you are getting the difference in multiples of milliampere right yani thoda sa ib deke bhi you can get large ic right so interpretation of both input and output like we did in the class today that you should be able to do it by yourself now okay coming back to your gain right so we say what is gain is output voltage upon input voltage right so let's see which signal i want to amplify here right abhi is circuit mein maine sirf dc source lagaya hai for providing bias to the diodes right forward or reverse bias ke liye now suppose i introduce a signal here right so i introduce a signal here ac signal ac signal ko aap amplify karoge small signal ko amplify karoge right so suppose this is my ac signal with vs as my voltage right so what happens if i see the at input input part of the transistor right input part ka matlab yahan pe ho gaya loop 1 so agar main isme jaau this is my loop 1 please don't confuse it with i right this is loop 1 this is the loop number right so what happens in case of loop 1 when my when vs is zero right jab ye vs hai hi nahi vs zero hai to is loop mein kya hoga your vbb will be equal to vbe right now when when vs signal when vs signal is applied when vs signal is applied now what will happen as you apply some vs right your vbe will change in loop one or to kuch hai nahi right so when we apply vs say my vbb which is your uh, base battery right may ek signal add hota hai vs which is equal to vbe plus some delta vbe right this delta vbe is because of introduction of your vs right abhi humne upar baat ki ki vbb is same as vbe which means which means now my vs will come as same as delta vbe yani jo bhi aap signal lagaoge right agar 10 millivolt ka lagaoge to aapko 10 millivolt ka difference dikhega vbe mein right it is delta it is a change right or i can also write it as say my input voltage becomes whatever you have added right as delta vbe right if i write this vi in terms of 
इनपुट रेजिस्टेंस सो इनपुट रेजिस्टेंस को अगर मैं डिनोट करती हूँ आर आई से राइट दिस इज इनपुट रेजिस्टेंस तो आर क्या होता है वी बाई आई सो इनपुट रेजिस्टेंस आर आई इज गिवन एज डेल्टा वी बी ई विच विल बी डिवाइडेड बाई इनपुट करंट इनपुट करंट क्या है इस केस में आई बी राइट सो इट बिकम्स डेल्टा वी बी ई अपॉन डेल्टा आई बी राइट बिकॉज दिस इज माई इनपुट करंट सो इफ आई री अरेंज दिस डेल्टा वी बी ई बिकम्स डेल्टा आई बी इन टू आर आई राइट सो वॉट एवर चेंज दैट इज हैपनिंग इन वी बी ई वी बी ई राइट इज corresponding to your multiplication of input resistance with change in base current now let's look at now let's look at output of output rather output side of output side of the transistor now let's look at the output side of the transistor which means loop 2 which means i go back loop 2 right ab isme loop 2 mein hum fir kvl lagayenge right kvl you all know so we apply apply kvl in loop 2 what happens let's go back okay तो लूप टू का डायरेक्शन कैसा होगा इफ आई होप यू नो राइट यू गो फ्रॉम माइनस टू प्लस ऑफ वी ऐसा होगा राइट सो वी राइट वी सी सी माइनस आई सी इन टू आर एल राइट गोइंग फॉरवर्ड इन दैट डायरेक्शन वी हैव वी सी ई राइट वी सी ई इज प्लस टू माइनस तो ये क्या बन जाएगा लेट मी राइट इट हेयर इट बिकम्स वी सी सी Oh, okay. One second. It becomes VCC, right? Minus ICRL minus VCE is equal to zero, right? Or, or we can say VCE is equal to VCC minus ICRL, right? Now when when vs is applied what all is happening jaise hi aapne vs apply kiya right ac signal to kya kya hua vcc is not going to change because that's your battery right you have connected it right ic will change obviously kyunki aap vs jaise hi apply karoge again i'm going back to the picture the moment you apply vs right your uh, vbe is getting affected abhi humne dekha right यहाँ पे यहाँ पे राइट सो एज यू अप्लाई वी एस देर इज अ चेंज इन वी बी ई कॉजिंग अ चेंज इन आई बी एंड आई बी विल ब्रिंग अ चेंज इन आई सी राइट विच मीन्स इन दिस इक्वेशन इन दिस इक्वेशन वी सी ई विल गेट अफेक्टेड राइट एंड आई सी विल गेट अफेक्टेड आर एल एज रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज and vcc is not going to change right so ab hum isko uh, kaise likhenge ye ho gaya hamara vce and ic will get affected right will get affected okay so how do we now write it so say delta vce vs apply karne ke baad change in vce will be given by जीरो वाई एम राइटिंग जीरो बिकॉज वी सी सी में कोई चेंज नहीं है देर इज नो डेल्टा वी सी सी राइट जीरो माइनस डेल्टा आई सी इन टू आर एल बिकॉज आई सी इज चेंजिंग एंड आर एल विल नॉट चेंज राइट दे फोर योर डेल्टा वी सी ई बिकम्स माइनस 
delta i c into r l right तो ये हो गया आपका delta v c e change which is your output voltage right and if I go back here this delta v b becomes your input voltage right now what do I do I take I take the ratio of these to find the voltage gain. अगर मुझे voltage gain निकालना है, which is say given by A is actually your um, output voltage divided by input voltage. Right? What is output voltage? Minus delta I C into R L divided by what is the uh, input one delta i b into r i right delta i c by delta i b kya hota hai beta right so this becomes minus beta uh, upon r i into r l right now if you know uh, what is transconductance? What is transconductance? What is transconductance? Transconductance is given by Gm, which is actually delta I out, how much current change happening happens at the output with respect to change in the input voltage. Right? So, resistance hota hai V by I, Gm hota hai I by V, but change in output current with respect to change in input voltage, right? So, if I have to introduce this Gm into this equation, this will come out to be A is equal to what is beta? Delta Ic over delta Ib, right? into rl over ri right same as this equation right is me mera output current kaha hai output current is delta ic correct or mera is me delta v in kya hoga delta v in will be change in input current delta ib into input resistance right so i can write i can write this gain a this gain a as minus gm into rl right this is the most important equation for your common emitter amplifier and here the negative sign that you see is for your phase difference right the phase difference that you will observe when you do this experiment in your lab between your input and output signal right so this is the amplification i hope now you understand why it is amplification again just a quick summary as you apply your signal right you are bringing a change in vbe which brings in a change in your base current which is your input in microamperes because of the gain factor or because of your say beta that you have your collector current will be in milliamperes collector current in this case is the output right jockey's gain equation may numerator may hai right minus delta ic upon delta ib into rl by ri Right, so this delta I C change in current is large, because it is large, it is amplified, right? And because there is a minus sign, it shows a phase difference, right? So this you can revise, go through it thoroughly. If you have doubts, you can again ask me, but I am hopeful that this will make it clear, uh, in comparison to the load line discussion we did in the class. I think this will this will help you much better. Right? Okay class. Thank you.